Hello, everybody. We are in my collection closet. This is where the Lamley collection sits. Shall we figure out what we're going to do for today's Saturday showcase? Right here. Got a couple from the display. And yeah, if you haven't guessed, today's Saturday showcase is the Hot Wheels Datsun 240Z. And I'm all set up. I got a bunch of Hot Wheels 240Zs here. I've got my 118 scale Auto Art Devil Z, just for kicks. It's a beautiful model. But let's get to the very rich existence of the Hot Wheels 240Z designed by Phil Reelman, who also designed the R34 Skyline, who is a legendary designer. He also designed the Drag Bus, of all things. He's done a ton of stuff, and he, in, 19, in 2006, designed the Hot Wheels 240Z, not to be confused with the Z-Wiz, which is a classic Hot Wheels from, I think, the 70s and 80s. This is a proper 240Z in classic Hot Wheels style in that it has the large rear wheel. We'll get to that in a little bit. But this is the first issue. Now, there's something different about this one. The first issue was released in 2006 in the basic range. This is the only one I have, and it is also a doozy, one of the rare variations of the, of the uh, Datsun 240Z. It is the faster-than-ever version, only shown on short cards, only shown in some, I think, um, checkout areas at Walmarts in the United States and found in Canada. The standard model had the Y5 wheels, which is this wheel, which we'll get to in a minute. But this very rare, faster than ever, faster than ever were these, I think, copper-lined, copper axle wheels that ran faster on the track. This is one I always wanted. It is very difficult to find. When it pops up on eBay, it goes very expensive. I got this several years ago and then opened it to many people's chagrin. But come on, it looks awesome with these copper wheels. So there's the first issue in white. It was also released... In yellow, also with the wheel variation. Now that white one comes in the Y5 wheels. There's also a rare 10-spoke version. This yellow, and that one's very expensive too. This yellow recolor comes in 10 spokes. And um, also in Y5 wheels, I kept the 10-spoke. I didn't uh, pursue all the wheel variations on this model. I wanted one of each color is what I wanted to do. So released in yellow. And then the same year... You guys are all familiar with these. This is the Kmart exclusive. Yes, they were doing the Kmart events 10, 11 years ago. I think that started in 2003. This was the Kmart version. You can find these, I think, pretty easily on eBay. They're not cheap per se. I mean, in the $10 to $15 range, I think. But 10-spoke wheels, this cool gray. Of the three, this one is my favorite, I think. The racing stripes on this model... I've always wanted one as clean as clean can be. We've had a couple that have been released like that. Um, we'll get to those. But this one of the first edition was my favorite. As cool as that faster than ever is, that Kmart one is better. 2007, it came out in a Hot Wheels racing livery. Number five, there's those Y5 wheels that most of those first editions actually ran with. Not a huge fan of the Y5 wheels. That's why I kept the faster than ever in the 10 spoke on the yellow and white. So Hot Wheels Racing, I actually at that point didn't know if I was going to collect this casting. Looking back, that might have been dumb, but I ended up uh, finding all of those that I wanted. All right, things get crazy now. This is the beautiful Spectre Flame Red Modern Classics 240Z. The Modern Classics, it, was only, it only ran for a year, maybe a year and a half. It was a take on the Classics line, which was kind of a throwback. Um, line back in, what was it, 2007, 2008. Metal bases, kind of classic wheels, just to throw back to the original, you know, red lines that had the Spectre Flame paint. And then they did a take with the, called the Modern Classics, not to be confused with the Car Culture Modern Classics right now, but the Modern Classics line was modern cars in that classic, retro, nostalgic Hot Wheels look. The 240Z was one of those. There was first the Chevy Silverado debuted in that line. A Roadrunner de debuted in that line. Uh, the 92 Mustang. There's quite a few. Junamai was the brains behind it. And this is one of the models that he brought in. It has the cool Y5 wheels. 
I'm sorry, OH5 wheels. And it's clean. Spectre Flame Red with just that top stripe. It was very cool in the Spectre Flame Red. Even better in this color. This is one of my favorite 240Zs. It almost hides into that display, doesn't it? Kind of a Spectre Flame gray slash black slash blue. Notice the tail lights look good. It has the, uh, the Datsun 240Z on the rear. Uh, looks so cool, so menacing. This is one of my, well, outside of the last one just released, which we've already focused on, this is one of my all-time favorites of the 240Z. Clean and mean and very, quote-unquote, modern. So move off to that one. Like I said, this was a very rich, it has had a very rich release. You've seen it in all kinds. Of, we've seen it in the modern classics. We've seen it in the basic range. We've seen it as a Kmart exclusive. Here's another version. You could find this model everywhere. This is a holiday exclusive. The Nissan 240, or I'm sorry, the Datsun 240Z. You can see right here on the roof, 25, happy holidays. 25, I assume, represents December 25th, Christmas Day. Could be wrong. But... There you go with the Holiday 240Z. I remember there was a Cadillac in that, a Lamborghini. That was a very cool, um, that was a very cool uh, release. All right. This was a somewhat rough take, not rough take, but a non-licensed take on the Bree Datsun. You can see the stripes on the side. And this one is a treasure hunt. You can see the red, white, and blue stripes. Now, back at this time, there were the regular treasure hunts. You can see Junamai's last name on the back panel. There were regular treasure hunts, and there were super treasure hunts like there are now, except they were the same model, and the super treasure hunt was just a souped-up version of the regular. You can see the TH right there by the 24, right under the word Leeway, which is another designer. Number 24, treasure hunt. So that one looks good with the MC5 wheels, the regular treasure hunt. What looks even better is the super treasure hunt spectre flame red same same top same stripes but they went with the spectre flame red on the side if you look at my version you can see that that number 24 on this side sinks a little bit and the stripes sink it's a little misaligned they put tail lights on this one i actually have it's just too low you can compare it to the um to the regular version i have so i actually have a carded one that i might open and i'll just wait for a video to do that um, to open that one because I want a better version. I want a better looking one. This one is too low. Maybe I'll, uh, if anyone wants this one, I'll figure out a way to get it to them when I decide to open that one. All right. So now we've seen it as a super treasure hunt, a holiday exclusive, a Kmart exclusive as a modern classics. Here was its first entry into the RLC, the Hot Wheels Collectors Club. This was an RLC exclusive. And boy, how times changed because this one is not cheap now. It's a gorgeous model in that high, high-end Spectre Flame Green. And that top deco, this Datsun deco, is an homage to the original Z-Wiz. You can see the Z on the front. The Z-Wiz was the Datsun 240Z, just done called the Z-Wiz by... Uh, but that sounded kind of bumpkin, done called. I didn't mean that it was done and called the Z-Wiz. This one did not sell out when it was first sold. It stayed in the Hot Wheels, in the RLC shop or in the Hot Wheels collector shop for, I'm guessing, two to three years. People just didn't buy it. Then all of a sudden it sold out. They put it, they did a Thursday deal on it where it was 10 bucks. It sold out and now people want it. It sits on Neo wheels. It's a gorgeous model. Cool throwback. Plus the, uh, the premium mirrored base. Awesome, awesome model. All right, back to the basic range. 240Z. This is a licensed racing, the Doc B Racing Toyo Tires car. This is actually based, the Tom Bork there on the roof. It is based on a real 240Z. You can see the cool rear uh, spoiler in blue, the white stripe. I said that this model shows up everywhere. Here it is in the basic range. Look at that cool hood, Doc B Racing Toyo Tires. It also was a Zamac. Now, here's the cool thing about the Zamek. There's actually two to three variations of this Zamek model. If you notice, the Torco on the side is red. Everything else is blue and or white. You can see that on the regular mainline release, there's a blue spoiler. On this one, 
there is no spoiler, or there is no blue on the spoiler. Because there's also this variation, red Toyo tires, blue trim. Notice the other one has blue Toyo tires. There's also some with the blue on the spoiler and without the blue on the spoiler, with the blue Toyo tires or with the red Toyo tires. I'll just say this, it gets confusing. There's several out there. What I wanted is one without with the blue Toyo tire hood. That's the main, that's the basic version in the Zamac. And I also wanted one with the red Toyo tires. This is the rare one. That's the one with the blue spoiler. That's the, uh, that's the one I wanted. I was able to actually find it in the store. I got lucky. Um, there's even some without Toyo tires on it. I think that's more of an error, but there's several different versions. The two main ones are blue Toyo and red Toyo tires or tire tires. That's right. So a very rare Zamac variation, which doesn't happen very often back to the main line. Nice black with gold trim version. I don't know what year we're in now. It might be 2012, 2013. I could be wrong. Japanese Nostalgic Car logo on that one. I hope I showed that one when I did all the JNC cars. I might have forgotten. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I did all the JNC cars a few weeks ago. I should have shown that black one, and I should have shown this white one. This is more of a classic racing style. In the white with the red and the, with the, red and the blue as we're used to. So there it was again in the main line. We have not seen it in the main line since, but we've seen it plenty, including here. One of the more popular releases, the Datsun 240Z Brie racing car that was sold in the RLC. It's, I think it's sold out. Complements the Datsun 510 BRE, which is a wildly popular model. You can see all of the detail on that as it passes through. Racing style, racing stripes, and the uh, although the racing deco on the side, number forty six on the hood, the beautiful Spectre Flame red, the Brie on the front chin, and then as it turns around in the back, one of the cool things is those yellow exhausts. How great is that? See that? Details, details, details. They do not cut corners with the RLC exclusives. That is the beautiful RLC model. Then we started seeing another premium lines. This is the Cool Classics. Cool Classics were uh, a line that didn't do too well. It was kind of a take. They did these special wheels, which you haven't seen since. I kind of like the mag style of these wheels. They should come back somewhere, somehow. Just throw them in the basic range, I think, unless they're too expensive to do. Not really keen on this design, but I do like the paint. I do like that kind of matte silver paint. And the wheels are awesome. The mag wheels on a 240Z are perfect. But the deco, I could go for a plain one with just those wheels. Hint, hint. Cool classics. And then in the real riders, this was the uh, heritage line where they did, or they alternated between neo classic, or I'm sorry, classic uh, red line wheels and then real riders. This one, again, Kind of a cool throwback deco. I like this one because they put it on the moon disc wheels. Made it look like something you'd see out in the Bonneville Salt Flats. Which I think the 240Z was not, uh, not a uh, rare sight to see out there on the Bonneville Salt Flats. So I really like this one because it's an homage to that. And considering Bonneville Salt Flats are in my state, just down the road... I like this model a lot. I thought the deco was very appropriate. Here we go again. This is the third version of the Datsun 240Z to sit on the Neo Classic wheels. This was not an RLC exclusive. Well, it kind of was. This was the RLC party model. I showed this when we showed some of the convention models last week. Spectre Flame Pink, which all of the party, the RLC convention, or the Hot Wheels convention RLC party models are always pink. Voss Haas was, I think, the last one. This one was from last year's convention. Ain't it pretty? Or was it two convention? Yeah, I think it was last year's convention. Beautiful Spectre Flame Pink with the sides, with the uh, off-centered hoods and, and roof stripe. This one was pretty. I mentioned that that, that that Modern Classics in blue, this one, was one of my favorites. Let me show you my favorite. 
I have already showcased this one. It is brand new. It was released last week as the dinner model at the Hot Wheels convention, the Alton Tekiyasu event. Plain white, silver headlights, beautiful, low-profile, Watanabe-type rims, convention logo hidden on the rear spoiler. This is the best model from the convention by a mile. I know some people are after that Datsun 510. That's fine. This 240Z is the gem of the convention for me by, like I said, a mile or two or 10. Absolutely gorgeous. There you go. This is not to be confused with the Fugu Z, the custom 240Z, which we've seen released what, in 2017. We've already seen a 2000, we saw it, what, recolored in orange, and we've also seen it rec uh, coming out in the A case in 2018 with the Kaido House type, uh, type style here. It's a cool, and we're going to see it actually in, and I'll showcase this one later, we're going to see this one again in a pearl white um, in the next batch of car culture. So a premium version sitting on the four spoke wheels. This is a great casting. I'm a big fan. And uh, I'm going to make a mess here as I try and show the models again. Sorry for all the big bumps and bruises. There you go. That is the Datsun 240Z. It's a model totally worth collecting. Might be hard to collect some of the premium versions, but they're out there. That's today's Saturday Showcase. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow.